And it really was a perfect day for that open house and many events here across Southwest Florida here today and really a beautiful weekend here. As we look, take a look across the Clusahatchee, uh, we are seeing temperatures right now. Fort Myer 69 degrees. 53% humidity, so it feels really wonderful out there at this hour. Then the next couple hours with the lower humidity, well, clear skies and pretty quickly to cool down here as we drop into the uh, lower 60s, ultimately upper 50s. I think is going to be that bottom out mark for us here in Fort Myers, though. You get north up into Charlotte County, DeSoto County. We're talking low 50s. How about 51 in Arcadia? 54 Punta Gorda. We're <laughs> almost. You want to grab that jacket as you head out the door tomorrow morning but you won't need it by the afternoon. That low humidity sticking with us and plenty of sunshine and temperatures warming back up into the mid 80s. We're going to go 86 degrees in Naples, 85 Fort Myers, 87 in Punta Gorda for you. And again, plenty of sunshine all day long, really not tracking much in terms of any clouds uh, whatsoever uh, for your day on your Sunday. So maybe you're thinking, hey, let's head to the beach. Well, Gulf temperature 75 degrees, air temperature about 80 on Boca Grand, Captiva, 82 Sanibel. I get down to towards St. Naples, Marco Island in the mid 80s there again. Awesome, plenty of sunshine in the forecast. And if you're looking to get on the boat, that's also looking pretty good as well. Light chop, those inland waterways, seas right around uh, two feet. And uh, just wait, maybe wear the uh, sunscreen there, UV index of a 10. As for your humidity, well, that's going to stay low as well tomorrow. But you'll notice it slowly creeps back up into that comfy range as we move throughout the rest of the week here. But that doesn't mean that we're going to see any rain chances. Actually, no rain rain chances than the forecast, at least through the middle of the week. And with that said, if we look just to the seven day forecast, there is nothing really detected on the European model through next Saturday as this dry weather is really with us and kind of almost feeling more like you'd think in a normal dry season. But remember, it's been so wet since the beginning of the year. Actually, portions of Collier County are five, six inches in the plus so far for the year. That's why it's been so uh, no drought in the area, but we're starting to see drying soil moistures, uh, especially uh, Charlotte Glades, DeSoto and Sarasota County. That's why we do need to start to be a little bit more careful uh, with things that can create fires. We did see that big Cape Coral fire yesterday. We did see the one down in Southern Collier today, so just be careful. I know it's low, the danger is still low for now, uh, but as dry weather continues, that will start to pick back up. So seven day forecast for you each and every day, tracking sunny skies, a little bit more humidity into next week. Week as temperatures flirt with near 90 degrees starting a Tuesday, pretty much through next weekend.